This Be More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by American Stroke Association. All right, well, May is American Stroke Month, which is why it's the perfect time to have American Heart Association volunteer, medical expert, Dr. Monique Jimenez, here to speak with us about women's risk of high blood pressure and stroke and how it changes throughout their lives. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. So tell our viewers, what are some of the risk factors unique to women? Women have some unique risk factors, such as pregnancy, menopause, and use of birth control pills. And all of these factors can increase a woman's risk of having high blood pressure. And we know that high blood pressure is actually the leading cause of having a stroke. Why is a woman's health during pregnancy extra important? So there are certain conditions that can impact a woman's health during pregnancy and can increase her risk of having a stroke during pregnancy and also after. So those are high blood pressure during pregnancy, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, and also blood clots. So if a woman presents with high blood pressure during her pregnancy, then she's at higher risk of having high blood pressure or having a stroke. And it's important for her to work with her physician to manage her blood pressure and also discuss prevention. Okay, for sure. I'm, I'm managing my blood pressure right now. I'm about six months, so I get it. Super important over here. Now, are those risks the same for all women though? We know that black and Latina women have a higher risk of developing blood pressure, also of having a stroke, and also of having complications after pregnancy. Okay, so then tell us, what can women do to help reduce those risks? That up to 80% of strokes and heart disease can actually be prevented. So first we want women to control their blood pressure. So if your blood pressure is regularly over 120 over 80, mm -hmm. then talk to your clinician. Also, if you're taking medication to manage your blood pressure, then make sure that you take it regularly and as indicated. And lifestyle factors are really important in being able to manage your risk. So for example, we want to encourage women to stop smoking, to maintain a healthy body weight, to maintain a healthy diet, to stay active, and also to reduce their sodium intake and limit their alcohol intake. And you don't have to be perfect, but we want you to be consistent. For sure. Now, are there any warning signs that people can be on the lookout for? It's very important that everyone understands that anyone at any age at any time is at risk of having a stroke. And so we can use the acronym FAST to identify what some of the immediate signs of a stroke might be and to make sure that we react to those quickly and urgently by calling 911. So for example, face drooping, arm weakness, difficulty speaking, and time to call 911. So if you see anyone with these symptoms or you see them in yourself, please call 911 immediately to seek medical care. Where can our viewers go to get more information about everything that we discussed today? Please visit goredforwomen.org forward slash risk. All right, Dr. Jimenez, thank you so much for joining us today. Such useful information. We appreciate you.